If you want somewhere for multiple users to be able to collaborate and edit reports and dashboards together, then a workspace is the place to do that. You can set up uh, admin and member roles so that different people can have different levels of access uh, to that workspace and to the content within there, and then share those and collaborate on them in different ways. Let's show you uh, how you can do that. So uh, I've currently got just a, uh, a report uh, sitting in my workspace. That's what I'm looking at at the moment. Um, but I'm going to go and create a new workspace uh, that will uh, let me uh, put content into, into somewhere that other people can get access to. So this is going to be our uh, van workgroup. And I can choose um, a few different options as to who has access to see what's in this group or in this workspace. So I can choose public or private. If it's public, anybody inside my organization can see what's inside there. If it's private, only approved members who have joined the, uh, joined the group workspace can, uh, can get access to it. I can also choose whether um, any member has the right to edit that Power BI content or whether only administrators can edit them and so members just have view only access. I'll leave that on edit as well at the moment. And now I can start to add email addresses of uh, people who have access to this group. So let's add me and let's add uh, Amanda. And you can see that uh, we'll automatically populate this as you start typing with email addresses from, uh, from your Active Directory. I can then choose whether these, uh, these users are admins or members of that workspace. And I can save that off. So that will now go and create the workspace for me. And now I can see that I'm here in the Van Arsda workspace group, and I can start adding um, uh, data sets or reports or dashboards uh, to put some content into this group. I can see that that workspace is going to appear in my, my list of workspaces alongside all of the other ones that I'm a member of. And if I want to go back and make any changes to it, I can edit it um, by clicking the dot, dot, dot menu uh, next to that workspace. I'll get that same panel that I had before, and I can come back and add new members or change their permissions uh, at a later date. And then adding content into this workspace is just like adding it into your My Workspace area. Um, you can upload files, or you can connect to other um, uh, content packs or third-party services, just as you would do creating it in your own My Workspace area.